Okay. So we're going to work on this figure right here. And we're, we're starting with the hat. So we're mixing phthalo blue and cadmium yellow light. I'm going to start with a bit of a dark, more like bluish green. Like that. It's a nice color. This is phthalo blue and this is cadmium yellow light. Just a little bit of a, a small amount. I'm gonna have some white. I'll take some little bit of white and highlight the top and a bit on this side. And we're good. Now, that's good. That's enough. We don't need much. We don't need to work to put too much, too many colors. Uh, maybe just highlight this part a bit with uh, cadmium yellow light. And uh, we can work on the face. It's going to be very simple. This is very small, so we don't have room for detail. Can this you zoom in, please? Yeah, this is burnt sienna. This is good? This is good? Yes. Good? Okay. I'm going to take burnt sienna, white. It's very small, so we don't really have room to put too much in there, too many colors. But we might have to add um, some burnt umber. Okay. Let's get a good brush. Tiny little brush. This is a tiny bit of burnt umber because the face is light and he's far away. So it shouldn't be that light. It's better. Now, I'm going to take white and I'm going to stop after this. I'm going to pause. Burnt umber and white.
and I'm going to put a um, kind of like a collar in here. Oh, that's too white. Sorry, that's too white. All right, that's good. We can actually put a um, a scarf if we want. But this guy is going to be having... I'm going to put a scarf on this one because I don't want to go through the detail. So let's highlight a bit my hand. Excellent. That's it. I'm going to pause. Okay, so this is Payne's Gray, Yellow Ochre, and Burnt Umber. So I'm going to start with Payne's Gray, and I'm going to paint this person. Just solid paints gray? Yeah. Just paints gray. I know in the reference you can hardly see his foot, yes. the back one. So I'm just going to put one like this. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> that looks funny. Maybe. All right, let's. Something is not right here. It's not right. No, in, in my in my painting, in the painting I'm doing. Oh, in my painting too. That's fine. That's fine. We don't. It doesn't have to be accurate. Exactly. Yeah. Then, no, yeah. it doesn't have to be accurate. Okay. We do have a bit of uh, shadow, so maybe I'll. Uh, use the same thing, paints gray, and I'll just water my paints gray down a bit. So it's more like a blaze and maybe I'll just put a bit of. Yeah. All right.
All right. I'll just put the bag. Do you want me to wait? Uh, I don't know. Put the ladies beside. All right. All right. I'm just going to put the bag and then I'll stop. That's yellow ochre and a bit of um, burnt umber. I'm going to use burnt umber again, I think, for this guy. And I'm just going to put, paint the back, yellow ochre and burnt umber. So at least there are some colors. Mm, yeah. I like these little kind of, a little bit yeah. of color. I'm going to let it dry a bit before I do anything else. Just darken a bit the bottom part with, with burnt umber. The side just gives it a bit of vo volume. Okay, let it dry a bit, and then this guy's kind of. Oh, wait, no. All right, burnt umber again. I'm just gonna put a bit of white in my burnt umber. Touch. Okay, for his jacket, I'm going to mix um, Payne's Gray and Yellow Ochre with a bit of white. Touch of white at first, because I need that white um, to, let's see, uh, first of all, adjust the color a bit. Be a little bit more yellowy or greenish. I put too much Payne's Gray, so I'm going to soften this. And then we will highlight the jacket. Hmm. Adding a tiny bit more blue in here on this side. I can see that it's darker here in the reference. Hmm. This should be shorter. Because he looks like he's he he has his hand is in his pocket. Right now it's too uh, too long.
added a little bit of more paint gray in here. You will see it more when it when it's dry because right now it's a bit too uh, too light, too shiny. There's a glare on it. Right. Now I'm going to add a bit of more yellow ochre in here and touch of white, not much because you know it's not it's not that bright outside in that area. And uh, I'm going to do I'll put a bit of highlights in here. This is too much of a jump between dark and light. I'm going to go a little bit like a, more of a medium tone. better. Acrylic dry, dries darker, so um, as usual, I have to adjust, weight adjust the colors or the the value. That is too too strong in the the darkest, too strong, even in the picture. That's a bit too strong as well. So I'm going to soften the value in here. That's better. A bit darker down here where his elbow is. That's good enough. Right, I'm going to take yellow and um, brown and mix them together.
I can see any, nothing. I can't see his face. Um, I think he has a hat and a scarf. So I'm just going to go like that. Let's leave it for now, and I'll come back to this. Let's work on the trousers. I'm going to shorten a bit the, uh, the sleeve so it looks like he has his hand in his pocket. What color is the pants? That's paints gray. Or oh, just paints gray. Just paints, yeah, just paints gray. I'm adding burnt umber. Do you want me to stop? No. Yes? Did I hear yes? No? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. You know, I keep going if you don't uh, say something. This is uh, paint gray and burnt umber.
All right, that turns out to be really good color. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to stop, pause for a minute, and then we can uh, work on the umbrella and backpack and hand. Oh, no, that's no, you didn't. Thanks, God. OK, so um, I'm doing face, the face. So it's uh, um, burnt sienna, white, and a bit of burnt umber. And I'm just going to put a, a line here and see if it works, OK? Maybe a little bit of burnt umber here. Looks like an eye. Oh, it didn't work because the paint is too wet. That's okay. Let's do the hand, meanwhile, until it dries. So the hand, oh, I don't see. I can't see what it looks like, but. Let's take some burnt umber and just give it a bit of uh, detail. Now burnt sienna and a bit of white. Oh, it's too light. That's OK. Um, I'll um, go. I'll go. I'll um, darken a bit. Stick burnt amber again. Add burnt amber. That needs a bit more burnt umber to push part of the fingers in. I'm not going to work on these too much in the in the reference. You can hardly see the hand. I'm just yes. adding a bit of detail. Yes. But we really don't have to. That's enough.
color? Same color in the picture. Black. Same color as his pants. Yes, yes. Paints gray. Paints gray, okay. Yes, yes. Now, I'm going to take the uh, one of the backpack up to his back. Yeah. Very nice. Right. I'm trying to use a dry brush, but it's not cooperating well. All right. Very nice. Let's do his umbrella and then we move on to the rest of the drawing. More detail I put on him, the no 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 more it's work I have we have to do. So I'm gonna darken uh, his face. So it's very and bring good. bring the hat down a bit. Okay, let's put the um, umbrella then we should we we will know umbrellas i'm going to use the same paints gray and then i'm going to highlight the paints gray to give it some detail there's a lot to do still for the street a lot of work yeah, yeah. The pavement, right? Mm. Lots of homework the weekend. In the reference, the umbrella looks different. It looks like it's uh, higher on this side. But just because I don't want to show his um, face too much, I'm not going to do it the same. I'm going to yeah. put the umbrella, keep the umbrella down. Further down this way, it covers most of the face.
but I'm going to use the reference for the um, highlight. So this is Payne's Gray right now. I'm using Payne's Gray and I'm gonna put a bit of uh, white in my Payne's Gray and give it a bit of detail here. Highlight the top. I'm going to let it dry and we'll see. Right. This is where we're at this week. Uh, next week, we'll work on the reflection and the road. <clears throat> 